from the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida. Fox Sportsnet presents University of Miami football. The fifth ranked Hurricanes represent the Big East as they open the 2000 season, hosting the Cowboys of McNeese State. It's the start of the 2000 football season for the Miami Hurricanes. McNeese State won the toss and they deferred to the second half. Miami will receive the opening kickoff. Daryl Jones and Aaron Mosier stand at the goal line as Charlie Bear kicks it off for the Cowboys. Short kick coming down to Mosier at the eight. Mosier to the 20. Room at the 25 where he's flipped by number 13 covering on special team is where the officials mark it. And they will start in a three wide receiver set with only one running back. That is James Jackson, the senior from Belle Glade. Dorsey to throw. Quick look into Wayne at the 45, and he's brought down at midfield. Arthur Goodley, Miami Hurricanes. Bryant McKinney, a huge newcomer, junior college transfer, redshirted last year. He gets the important left tackle spot. Santana Moss, we talked about in the open, one of the more dynamic players in college football. James Jackson, hoping for an injury-free senior year, gets the start at tailback. Will McPartland now in at fullback for the Canes as they go with the standard eye set on first and 10 from midfield. Movement along the line. Dorsey quick out to Wayne. He catches it at the McNeese 45. They play a 4-2-5. Only two linebackers. Jake Morrison, their best defensive lineman. The two linebackers are Duhan and Archie, who had 46 tackles last year. And the five secondary man, Arthur Goodley, the man who just made the tackle, 65 tackles and two sacks from a year ago. The penalty was offside on McNeese State. Offside on the defense. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay will accept. So he is a Cowboy lifer. On first and five, Jackson with his first carry. He'll pick up three or four. Second and two from the McNeese 42-yard line. From the I formation and three wide receivers. Dorsey, play faking. Dorsey, deep down the right sideline. Santana Ross all alone at the 20-yard line. Driven out of bounds. First and 10 Miami at the McNeese 18-yard line. This is Jackson skipping to the outside. Jackson to the 10. James still going, lost the football. Big pile up at the three yard line. And we'll wait for the officials to unscramble it. Look at Jackson's numbers from a year ago. Canes with a first and goal. Double tight end formation. Only one wide receiver in the lineup. McPartland in motion. Give to Jackson. Tried to cut back inside. Met in the hole and he'll go down back at the seven yard line. Second and goal for the Canes. Ivan Mercer, the tight end in motion. Dorsey. Look into the end zone, firing, incomplete. Going for Robert Williams and Gerard Jones, number third and goal for the Canes. 12-15 left to go first quarter. Scoreless at the Orange Bowl. Dorsey, fade pattern for Wayne in the end zone. Caught it, touchdown Miami. Ken Dorsey, five yards to Reggie Wayne and a perfect throw over the coverage of Bruce Bolden. Ken Dorsey on the money early in this evening. Perfect fade pattern in the corner of the end zone. The other wide receiver, part of the great hurricane receiving combination as Todd Seavers out of the hold of Aaron Mosier converts his first point as a Miami Hurricane Seavers, the new kicker, replacing the graduated Andy Crossland. And with 12-11 left to go in the first quarter, Miami has a 7-0 lead. They went seven plays, 70 yards, taking 2.49 off the clock. It's the King 7, McNeese State, nothing. I'll tell you the most shocked people in the world right now are the Miami defense giving up a 65-yard touchdown drive to the Cowboys, which allowed McNeese State to tie the game at seven. Again, the short kick from Bear. This is Mosier at the eight. Mosier trying to bust outside to the 20, to the 22, 23-yard line where he is ridden down. Jackson in the eye behind McPartland. And flags fly and whistle stop the play. As Prior to the I snap, you, false start the on the ball. offense. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay first down. I guarantee you Greg Schiano is the most unhappy guy in the building right now, the Miami defensive coordinator. On first and 15, Jackson. Jackson squirts through. Jackson still going up toward the 40 to the 42-yard line. For 80, uh, the, also the tight end doing a great job on the outside, the fullback actually. There's Jackson again. He is dragged down from behind for a good portion of the middle of the season. But it'd be nice to see James Jackson totally healthy. Second and five for Miami. Dorsey to throw. Good protection. Firing for his tight end, Ivan Mercer, and incomplete. The All-American tight end for the Canes, now with the Green Bay Packers. This is a third and a short five for Miami from their 47. Look for Miami to go up top here, Frank. Blitz coming. Miami picks it up. Pass over the middle. McPartland is caught, but he is dropped immediately at the 49-yard line. Hands at the Miami 36. 
Good snap from Chris Harvey, the new long snapper. Capshaw high and long and into the end zone for the touchback. And Burton remains the tailback. Now Nagel shifts into the shotgun. Nagel down the sideline and overthrows his receiver at the 40-yard line. And Slade Nagel, a coach's son. His father, John, is the associate head coach at McNeese State. They send three wide receivers into the formation with Burton the lone running back. And Burton has the football. And Burton will get a yard or two. Javon Rhodes at the bottom of the pile. Number Again, three wide receivers in for the Cowboys. Nagel out of the shotgun. Nagel to the sideline, intercepted by Leonard Myers, and he is out of bounds at the McNeese State 20-yard line. Leonard Myers, the senior from Fort Lauderdale, as they have it first and 10 from the McNeese 20. Fake to Davenport, Dorsey on the rollout. Dorsey complete to Santana Moss down at the nine-yard line. As Miami now goes to the double tight end formation. Give to Davenport. Davenport trying to pick his way through. We'll get down to the seven-yard line. Got only two. Second and goal from the McNeese seven. Dorsey looking to put it up. Fade to the end zone and overthrows a wide open Ivan Mercer. We'll see if they can cash in. Three wide outs in the ball game. Davenport the lone running back behind Dorsey. Blitz coming. Dorsey to the corner for Reggie Wayne. Caught it. Touchdown Miami. The defensive back Burton thought he had Wayne juggling the football, but the officials say he had control before he went out of bounds, and Miami puts their second touchdown on the board, and again, it's Reggie Wayne. Yeah, the same way this time, Reggie Wayne in the corner. It's for the Hurricanes. Seavers on to try the extra point, and it is good out of the hold of Aaron Mosier and the snap of Chris Harvey. And with four minutes and 31 seconds left to go in the first quarter, the Hurricanes have retaken the lead. A second touchdown pass from Ken Dorsey to Reggie Wayne. It's 14-7 Miami. Santana had struggled with a bit of a hamstring problem in fall camp. Here is Seavers to kick it off. Martin and Pierce are deep. This is Jermaine Martin from the one. Martin cut down as he reached the 19-yard line. Number 23, James Lewis. The Hurricanes are back into it as well. Marcus Trahan is the new tailback. He has the football, and he has stood up as he reached the 22-yard line. Chris Campbell, again, three wide receivers in on a second and eight for McNeese. Nagel out of the shotgun. Flips it to Trahan, complete at the 20. Trahan dropped at the 26-yard line as Javon Rhodes. 3-11 left to go first quarter. Miami with the 14-7 lead. Again, three wideouts in as Nagel out of the shotgun. Throws complete to Trahan. Trahan will have a first down up near the 33-yard line as first and 10 from their 33. 2.42 to go first quarter. Nagel going deep. Looking for Jimmy Redman and overthrows him at the Miami 35-yard line on a second and 10. They're going to have to hurry. Nagel changing the play. And he ran out of time. Delay of game on McNeese. And the pullback Ostelet flexed out to the right side. Three-step drop. Nagel again going up top, and that ball is caught by Redmond. A beautiful catch at the 46-yard line where Edward Reed East with a first and 10 from their 47. Mix up in the backfield, and Nagel slips at his 40-yard line and goes down right there. Ball on the football. Second and long. Nagel again, three-step drop. Inside screen, pass is complete to Jermaine Martin, and he is drilled, making third and 12 from the Mickey State 45. Nagel again, three-step drop, pass is tipped and nearly intercepted. Looked like Dan Morgan got a piece of it at first, and then Edward Reed. Lotta nearly had it blocked. Moss picks it up on a bounce at the 23. Penalty, no, not a penalty flag, it was a yard marker. There goes Moss, great block for Blades. He's and going. Santana's going to take it to the house. Goodbye, Santana Moss will take it all the way. A 78-yard punt return. The official threw down a marker, but it was the yardage marker where the return started from. And instead of a penalty marker, and Santana Moss has done it again for the Hurricane. Well, we got some tape job did, it, did well, and you see the Hurricanes will be stepped off for Miami. celebration, I believe, after, after the, the touchdown. Line, the trial will be from the 18-yard line. I just hate that penalty. So Seavers will try a 35-yard extra point, and he misses it. And with 48 seconds left to go first quarter, it remains Miami 20, McNeese State 7. So the penalty does cost Miami on the extra point. As you look at Santana Moss, the senior out of Carroll City, in prior to that, he had a 100-yard kickoff return in the Gator Bowl, wiped out by a penalty. This kick high and coming down to Martin at the goal line. Martin running into trouble and into the arms of Philip Buchanan. Well, after a rainy afternoon, Burton back into the game at tailback. Redmond in motion for the Cowboys. 
Burton with the football. And Burton again finds a hole. There goes Jesse Burton up to the 30-yard line where... Here comes the reverse to Redmond. And he's got room. Redmond across the 40. Al Blades bumped him out at the 44-yard line. But I beg your pardon, it will not. As the clock was stopped to move the first, the uh, chains. With two seconds left Dead to go ball, in the quarter. False start on the offense. A false start. Five yard penalty from the defeating spot. Back to... On first and 15, Redmond in motion. Give us to Burton. And this time Al Blades meets him in the hole and holds it to a gain of two yards. And that will bring the first quarter to an end here at the Orange Bowl. After 15 minutes of play, it's the Miami Hurricanes 20, McNeese State 7. Second quarter action at the Orange Bowl. Nagel throwing the pass and inside screen to Martin, and he is drilled. Oh, third and 14 from, Mc, from the McNeese State 40. Nagel out of the shotgun. Again, the quick look into Redmond, and Philip Buchanan is on him right away. The left footer, a low tumbling kick. Moss takes it on the run at the 25 and gets up to the 33 yard line. Both wide receivers, Jones and Wayne, to the bottom of your screen. McPartland and Davenport, the running backs, fake to Davenport. Dorsey going long for Reggie Wayne, overthrows him at the McNeese 25-yard line on a second and 10. Dorsey pitches to Davenport. Davenport coming wide, and he is cut down right at the line of scrimmage out of the shotgun. Dorsey stepping up in the pocket, and now running. And almost thought about flipping the ball off to Davenport, but I'm sure he thought he was beyond the line of scrimmage. And Pierce back to receive the punt for McNeese. Capshaw, the spinner off the outside of his foot, and that is out of bounds. On first and ten, Redmond in motion. Give to Pierce. Pierce squeezes out to the 40-yard line. On second and eight, Redmond in motion across the formation. Nagel gives it to Pierce. Pierce squeezes through to the 45-yard line, and he took Dangerfield for a ride. Back at the Orange Bowl, third and three for McNeese State from their 45-yard line. Nagel, three-step drop, flips it out incomplete for Redmond as Leonard Myers had very good coverage. Lada gets it away. Again, a low driving kick. Moss at the 16. Skips around one man and will get back only to the 25-yard line. With Clinton Portis now the running back. Dorsey setting up a screen to Portis and he dropped it. This is a second and ten play. Dorsey, the reverse to Moss. Moss with room and blocking. Santana down the sideline. 50, 40, cutting back to the middle. Santana Moss is gone. Santana Moss with an 80, or rather a 75-yard touchdown run on the reverse. Miami's fourth score of the night, second for Santana. Well, just when you think Santana Moss might be out of gas or got hit too hard, and he walks to the sideline after the punt return down Hurricanes. Seavers' extra point try is up, and it is good. Let's go. Ten minutes, 29 seconds left to go in the second quarter, and just when Miami looks like they're stuck in neutral, Santana Moss puts it in overdrive and takes it to the house from 75 yards on the reverse. It's Miami 27, McNeese State 7. We'll be right back with more second quarter action from the Orange Bowl. First and 10, McNeese from their 35-yard line. Burton the running back behind Nagel. And Burton has the football. And Burton goes nowhere. He's brought, come on strong and really solidified the uh, backup position at linebacker. On second and ten, out of the shotgun. Nagel completes it to Burton, who drops it. And Leonard Myers. Nagel again out of the shotgun. Nagel's pass intercepted by Chris Campbell. Chris Campbell taking it back as Wes Hines drops him at the 33-yard line of McNeese State. But Chris Campbell's first career interception. Headlights that night, but he really <laughs> came on strong. Here's Clinton Portis with the first football. Make it uh, James Jackson, rather, number 21. First and 10 Miami with 9.25 to go in the second quarter. Three wide receivers in the formation for the Canes. Dorsey under some pressure. Corner of the end zone. Daryl Jones caught. Flags down. Nobody signaled touchdown no. yet. Daryl thinks he has a touchdown. That's
that's that's offense and that's defensive interference that's got to be a touchdown great concentration by Daryl Jones give us the call somebody pass interference against the defense penalty is declined touchdown. there you go <laughs> all right your point on Chris Harvey with the good snap Osher with the hold and Seavers knocks it through Nine minutes, 18 seconds left to go here in the second quarter at the Orange Bowl. Daryl Jones with his first touchdown of the year, and Miami has stretched their lead to 34 to 7. We'll be right back here on Fox Sports Net. Jermaine Martin back deep to receive for McNeese. Receiver's kick will come down to Pierce at the three. And Pierce going down as he saw DJ Williams. Like <laughs> DJ Williams, number 17, is in the game at linebacker for Miami. Along with Jonathan Vilma, another true freshman. This is Trahan, and Trahan up across the 20. Weaver along with the, along with uh, Weaver. So there's four linebackers in the game. Again, it's Trahan, and he gets up close to first down yardage. And Miami's four linebackers in there with Weaver, Dangerfield, Vilma, and Campbell, and only three defensive backs. And it's Trahan. Trahan pops through. Trahan to the 40 and taken down by Edward Reed at the 47 yard line. And now Aaron Pearson at tailback. This is Pierce with the football. And Jonathan Vilma drops him after a gain of only two. Veteran out there, and he only has eight starts under his belt. Pierce bounces outside. Pierce to the Miami 40 yard line will have a first down. Again, the double tight end for McNeese. Pierce again. And this time, Jonathan Vilma makes the tackle help on second and nine. Nagel gives to Pierce, and Vilma is there, along with LeVar Scott, to lay the smack down. Third and 10 for McNeese. Nagel out of the shotgun. Down the middle, complete to Redmond. And Redmond inside the Miami 20-yard line. For the play to go outside, Frank. Pierce. Pick his way through the middle, and he gets down close to the 10-yard line. They'll mark it. This time it's Burton, and he has stood up after a gain of about a yard. He has a toe injury, so Marquise Fitzgerald in there at the corner for Miami. On third down, Burton, and he has stood up by Ken Dangerfield, who held that play to a very minimal gain. For going to be close and they are indeed short by almost a yard so the Miami defense stiffens in the red zone backed up inside their 10 yard line McPartland and Davenport the running backs pitch to Davenport good block from McPartland Najee out to the 15 yard line got six on first down Dorsey to throw complete to Mercer is tight end and he is cut down up at the 28-yard line by Gerard Jones. A return for a touchdown and a run on a reverse for a touchdown for Santana. First and 10 Canes with a minute 58 to go in the second quarter. Quick outlag pass is complete as Reggie Wayne right before their day off. There's the time of possession. The Canes haven't had the football long, but they've generally been effective with it. Second and five from the 34. Dorsey going deep, and Andre King was grabbed by Gerard Jones, and that is going to be a penalty. Too. So the heck with those penalties. Pass interference is the call. Go ahead and take the penalty. It won't hurt us as much as the touchdown. Dorsey out of the shotgun. And the game moved early on the right side. Prior to the snap, false start on the offense. Five yards. And we'll get into that a little more. On a first and 15, Dorsey flips it out incomplete to his tight end, Ivan Mercer. The problem is, can he play 8, 10, 12 plays exactly. in a row right. effectively with stamina? Again, Dorsey out of the shotgun. Pass off the hands of Andre King, and that really was a pretty well-delivered football. Nine, of, nine completions for 112 yards and three big touchdowns. On a third and 15, Dorsey rifles it complete to Wayne at the McNeese 40 and taken down at the 35-yard line. By Dorsey again out of the shotgun. Firing incomplete for Robert Williams is tight end. Three wideouts in the formation for Miami on a second and 10 from the McNeese 34. Dorsey with time. Throws it complete to Darrell Jones down at the 15-yard line where he is taken down by Arthur Goodley. They're going to have to do to be successful this year. First and 10 from the McNeese 14-yard line. 
Dorsey for Mercer, incomplete off his hands. You have to go up and attack the football to be an effective tight end. Second and 10, Davenport on the draw, and he goes nowhere. This is the third and 13 play. Dorsey sets up the screen to Davenport. Davenport hurtling inside the 10 yard line. Look down at the eight. At the last minute, you see penalty flags on this field goal try. I don't Prior think to the snap, successfully. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty from succeeding spot. Replay fourth down. Mosier will hold at the 20. A 30 yard try for Severs. Kick is away. And the kick is good. Todd Severs with the 30 yard field goal. And that increases Miami's lead to 37 to 7 with 17 seconds to go in the first quarter. Severs to kick it away. Low along the ground. And this will be Turner at the 11. Turner ran into his own man and then taken down from their 27. Nagel under center. Gives it to Trahan. And Trahan up across the 30 to the 33 where Mike Bump makes the tackle. And that'll end the first half. As the gun sounds and McNeese will walk to the locker room trailing the number five ranked Miami Hurricanes by a score of 37 to seven. Santana Moss with a couple of touchdowns, Reggie Wayne with a couple of touchdown catches, and Daryl Jones with a touchdown catch. We'll be back with our halftime activities from the Orange Bowl. Yeah, but I think Miami, yeah, but Miami's defensive coaches, I'm sure, are very disappointed in the defensive line work in the first half versus the run. Seavers kickoff carries to the end zone. Martin will come out. And Martin is clotheslined at the 17-yard line. Slade Nagel and a quarterback for McNeese. Gives it to Burton, and Dangerfield met him in the hole. They go with the double tight end. Nagel, three-step drop, complete to Martin, and he is tackled immediately by Leonard Myers. Nagel out of the shotgun. Flips it out in the flat, complete, fumble the football, and they're going to call it incomplete. Illegal participation, 12 men on the field for the defense. 15-yard penalty. Well, Miami had 12 men spot. on the field. It's enough for a first down. More disturbing news for Miami. They're checking Chris Campbell out on the sideline. Nagel with play action. Throwing it down the middle, and that's intercepted by Edward Reed. Edward Reed back to the 40 of McNeese State. Still going. And now they say he stepped out of bounds back at the 37-yard line. So Ed Reed comes up with Miami's third interception. Of Rose, Louisiana with the turnover. Miami first and 10. This is James Jackson across the 35 to the 32-yard line from the Cowboy 32. Robert Williams in motion. Give this to Jackson. Trying to pick his way through and will get only about a yard. And it is the first unit offensive line in for Miami. Third down play for the Canes. Fake to Jackson. Dorsey. Firing complete to Mercer at the 15-yard line, and down he goes at the 13. Arthur Kane was 19. First down and 10 for the Canes at the 13-yard line of McNeese. Dorsey with everybody stacked in on the McNeese defense. Goes for Andre King incomplete. Reggie Wayne, the only wide receiver in on this formation for the Canes on a second and 10. Mercer in motion. Give us to Jackson, short side. Jackson tripped up in the backfield and taken down for a loss. Gaines. Third and 12 for Miami. Dorsey out of the shotgun. Lofts it to the end zone. Mercer had it knocked away at the last moment. Gerard Jones made a nice play to prevent the touchdown. This from 33 yards out. Seavers with plenty of distance and it, plenty of accuracy as well. Todd Seavers converting his second field goal, and the Canes with 10.36 left to go in the third quarter now lead McNeese State by a score of 40 to 7. The three pointer set up by the Edward Reed interception. We'll be back from the Orange Bowl right after this 10.36 to go, third quarter. The Canes, a seven play, 22 yard drive, culminating in the 33 yard field goal by Todd Seavers, who now kicks off deep to the end zone. Martin takes it about four yards deep, and he'll come out. Martin up the sideline. Martin run out of bounds by Todd Seavers, the kicker, and that was a pretty good collision. At their own 28. Give us to Trahan, and Trahan dragged down at the 30-yard line. Lawton and Pierce now in the eye behind Nagel. This is Lawton, a fullback, and he takes a hit in the hole after picking up about a yard. Just a whole screw. 
Nagel gives it to Pierce, and Pierce up to the 35-yard line, but he's well shy of the first down. Will Lotta gets it away. This is his best kick of the night. Driving Daryl Jones back to the Hurricanes 20. Gets away from the first tackler and gets what he can up the sideline. The Orange Bowl, 8.07 left to go in the third quarter. Ken Dorsey still in the football game for the Canes. Completes it to Daryl Jones. And Jones up the sideline. Still going at midfield. Finally run out at the McNeese 42-yard line. 27 yards on the completion to Daryl Jones to the McNeese 41-yard line. Dorsey. Pump fake. And going deep. This is Jason Gathers, the freshman of one hand catch. They say he was out of bounds. He has an incredible build for a wide receiver, and you see he's got some hands here. Another audible at the line of scrimmage. Let's take a look. It looked like it half in, half out. It doesn't count here, but a nice grab, one handed catch. He's in bounds, Frank. From that replay, it appeared his left foot was in second and ten for the Hurricanes. Three wideouts in the formation. Dorsey Nobody with outside. coming. Completes Andre King. Andre King inside the 20 and run out at the 17 yard line by Hadley Prince from the Cowboys 17. Dorsey flips it to his tight end. That's Jeremy Shockey, the junior college transfer. And he, but I'm quite sure this will be his last series. Dorsey. With the blitz wide coming, open. wide open is Shockey. Shockey to the five and bumped out of bounds by Gerard Jones at about the two. First end goal, Hurricanes. Davenport and McCartland in the eye. Williams in motion. Give us to Davenport. Najee leaping and spinning and down just shy of the goal line. Second and goal for the Canes. This is McCartland diving over the top and it's a touchdown. Will McCartland with the rushing touchdown from a yard away. And the Hurricanes lead it 46 to 7. I think Najee went back in the huddle and said, Will, you're a little bit more solid than I am. Why don't you go over the top and try? As Seavers will attempt the extra point, and he knocks it through with 7.03 left to go in the third quarter. Miami now with a 47 to 7 lead, a seven play, 68 yard drive for the Canes. It took only a minute and four seconds. And Will McCartland, the former walk on from Scranton, Pennsylvania, gets his first touchdown of the year. We'll be right back from the Orange Bowl. 7.03 to go third quarter. Canes lead by 40. Miami with a 40-point lead, and Ethnic Sands will lead the second unit offense for the Canes. Take you through the lineup in just a moment after this first down play. But Cordes has the football. Cordes to the outside. Cordes across the 10 and run out of bounds at about the 13-yard line. Andre Johnson and Daryl Jones, the wide receiver, on this second and four play. Pitch to Cordes. Nowhere to go, and he's going to go down back at the six-yard line. Well, the coach has said you're going to see a little bit of that with DJ. He's only been at fullback for a week. Sands will give it to Portis on the delay. Clayton still on his feet. Still going at the 15. It breaks free at 25. He'll have a first down and nearly busted it all the way. 18 yards for Portis out to the 25-yard line. First and 10 Hurricanes. Portis again. Trying to get to the corner. And he just puts his head down and runs into Rod Gully for about a two-yard gain. Second and nine for Miami. Williams and Portis remain the running backs. Sands on the rollout. Flips it complete to DJ Williams across the 30. At the 35, cut down at the 37-yard line and at the end of three periods. It's the Canes, 47. The McNeese State Cowboys, 7. We'll be back for the fourth quarter at the Orange Bowl right after this. Start of the fourth quarter at the Orange Bowl, and the cups arranged in a UM by the trainers. As we get back to action, Ethnic Sands moving around in the pocket, fires over the middle, intended for Andre Johnson. But Earl Jones and Andre Johnson split to the bottom of your screen. DJ Williams in motion. On the rollout, Ethnic Sands has Daryl Jones open at the 43. Good job to avoid a tackle, then popped up the football. It's still loose, and McNeese State has it at their 46 yard line. No, I'm sorry, it's Slade Nagel again. And Nagel gives it to Jesse Burton. And Burton runs into a stone wall right at the line of scrimmage. Nagel, again the three-step drop. Quick completion to Redmond. Gets into Miami territory and picks up about seven yards. This is a third and a short three. Nagel complete to Burton. He's wide open down the sideline. And Aaron Mosier finally pushed him out at the 24-yard line. 
First and 10 for the Cowboys from the 24. Redmond in motion. Nagel pitches it to Burton. And Clint Hurt there for the tackle. Laying the smack down. There's nobody out here on the wide receiver. So Nagel wisely throws it out there to Jermaine Martin. And Martin is going to score a touchdown. Well, that is just poor game management. Or Keith Fitzgerald got there late. That is just either poor game management or poor recognition on the part of the Hurricane. And Abair adds the extra point. Charlie Abair's kick is good. And with 12.35 left to go fourth quarter, it's now Miami 47 and McNeese State 14. With Andre Johnson and Daryl Jones deep. This will be Andre Johnson from the three. Johnson to the 24-yard line. From the 24. Sands on the rollout. Has his tight end. Shockey open at the 30. Shockey to the 35. He lost the football, but got it back at the 43-yard line. This one, they were fortunate to get back. Pitches to Portis. Portis behind a good Joe McGrath block, and Portis into McNeese territory, still going, and finally falls down at the 32-yard line of the Cowboy. 11.35 to go in the football game. That's Nick Sands. Gives it to Portis, and Portis wrapped up from behind by Sean Williams, number 35. Jason Gathers and Andre Johnson, the wide receivers in the formation for the Canes on this second and 10. Sands to throw it. Going deep down the middle, Andre Johnson wide open for the touchdown. Ethnic Sands with the 32-yard touchdown strike to the redshirt freshman out of Miami High School, Andre Johnson. Miami. And the extra point is up and good. And Miami with now a 54 to 14 lead over McNeese State, a four play 76 yard drive, taking a minute 55 off the clock. He is supposed to be the backup kicker, but Jesse did not attempt that last uh, conversion. Rizzolier's kick is high and short. Taken by Lemons, and he fumbled it, and it looks like Miami got the football, and they do. The guy who goes out there every day in practice, works just as hard as everybody else, and getting a chance to play. Portis met in the hole. He'll go down for a loss of a yard. Shockey the tight end. Williams and Portis the running back. Sands with time, finds DJ Williams inside the 20-yard line, stepped out at the 19. And Our officials will be in business. There well, we by go. the way, Penn... A pin. Andre Johnson to the bottom of your screen. Sands with the straight drop and a quarterback draw. And it busts wide open for him. Ethnic will slide down wisely at the 21-yard line. The line to gain is the McNeese State 14. Sands on the straight drop. Flips it over the middle. Complete to DJ Williams. Breaking tackles. And DJ down to the six-yard line where he has a Miami first down in the Miami backfield that it'll be holding on the Canes. Clock moving with 8.45 to go. It's third and 17 for Miami. Sands will throw it over the middle and dropped by Shockey to tight end. 49-yard field goal out of the hold of Aaron Mosier. He's got the distance, but it is no good wide left. And McNeese State will take over the football. With Early in this football game, they just don't have enough depth and talent to stay with Miami. Michael Allen with the play fake and the rollout, throwing complete to number 85, Jeff Hamilton, because the Canes are going to travel out to Washington a, a day early. They're going to leave on Thursday as opposed to the normal Friday. Allen again with play fake. Throwing outside, knocked down, incomplete by Marquise Fitzgerald, who had excellent coverage. Allen under center. Pitches it back to Pierce, and he avoids tacklers, and then is tripped up by Jonathan Vilma. Third and four for the Cowboys. Allen, three-step drop. Going to throw it deep and overthrows his receiver. High snap. Lotta brings it down and does get the punt off. A low-line drive that Jones will field at the 14. Jones getting away from the first wave. Trying to get to the sideline and runs out of space. Huskies, in fact, are co-favorites with USC to win. 
the Pacific Conference Championship. This is Clinton Portis behind some nice blocking. Clinton Portis, 40, 50. Inside McNeese territory. Can they run him down? No, they oh. cannot. Clinton Portis to the house from 82 yards away. Great job by Clinton Portis setting up in the last block by Jason Gathers, the wide receiver at about the 30-yard line. He is explosive as well. Seavers on to attempt the extra point, and it is good. And Miami with a 61 to 14 lead with 650 left to go, and they're now up over 600 yards in total offense. There's timeout on the field with 650 left to go. Clinton Portis with the explosion. Miami leads it 61 to 14. Instead of the guy started hiring her own lobbyist for playing time, he said Clinton's his own lobbyist. He tells <laughs> the other backs, if you let me on the field, you might not get back on. He doesn't need anybody else. Hollinger's kick fielded by Turner. Turner dancing around at the 20, and he'll go down at the 22-yard line. Turner and Broadhead, the wide receivers in the football game for the Cowboys. And Burton is the running back. Fake to Burton. Wide open. Allen firing, complete to his fullback, Lawton. And Luke Lawton running over one tackler, and finally forced out of bounds by James Lewis. First and 10 from the 33. Burton with the football. And he is down right about the line of scrimmage. A true freshman from Cluiston. There's Allen with the play fake. Allen firing, and that ball is almost picked off by Marquise Fitzgerald, but I think they're going to get Fitzgerald for a hole. Pass interference on Miami, and offside against McNeese, so the play will be nullified. So on second and 10, Allen will try it again. Inside handoff to the wide receiver, Turner. He turns the corner and picks up nearly 10 yards. Did throw a touchdown pass last year as well. On third and one. We'll give it to Burton. And Burton has the first down and some more as he gets up across midfield. 444 left to go in this game. Allen fakes it under some pressure. Looks out complete to Lemons, his fullback, and Lemons tripped up inside the Miami 35-yard line. Hurricane 32. This is Burton again. We'll pick up two, maybe three yards. Looks like it's going to be a personal foul against McNeese State. Look a second down and about 21 yards. Gore on a play fake. Under pressure. Firing and nearly intercepted by the Hurricane. Gore out of the shotgun. Blitz coming. Inside pitch. Complete on the screen pass to Sams. And B.J. Sams takes it down to the 28-yard line with... Low snap, but he got it down, and Bears kick barely got off the ground and is no good. That kid is going to be something special, too. I know. Too. So here's Troy Prezek under center for the Canes with DJ Williams and Portis lined up behind him. It's Anthony Johnson in motion. And Prezek will throw it. Going for his tight end, David Williams, as he was grabbed, and the penalty flag comes. Tight end, it's a high-low. That time, a good decision by... And the Kane coaching staff really has high hopes for David Williams. There's DJ Williams with his first collegiate carry, and he'll pick up about two yards. But everybody recruited him at his other Line position, back, yeah. linebacker. Second and eight for Miami. Krasek flips it out and dropped by DJ Williams. Third and eight for the Canes. Krasek with the straight drop. And throws complete to Anthony Johnson at the 41-yard line of McNeese State. First college reception. Michael Stewart now in a wide receiver for the Hurricanes. He's set to the bottom of the screen. Walk on from Cranston, Rhode Island. Raise it. Throwing it deep. Going for gathers, and that ball knocked down incomplete by number 35, Sean Williams. Half. Defensive pass interference again, the call. Just your average size for Just receivers. Just your average receivers, right? right? Here's Clinton Portis picking his way through, and Clinton will pick up about eight yards. From the 17-yard line, it's a second and three for Miami. Nick Nettles in the game at fullback for the Canes. And Prasek will take a knee, and the Canes are just going to run out the clock. And Prasek will once again put it down, and Miami will win this football game. 17 seconds left to go, and they'll let the clock run out as the Hurricanes open the 2000 season. A Y2 Kane with a 61-14 victory over McNeese State. A couple areas of concern for Miami. Some guys got nicked up tonight, and hopefully they'll be all right. And the run defense should have been better. You see Butch Davis yeah. ducking at the sound of that <laughs> cannon that gets shot off by one of the fraternities. 
and Miami will be ducking and throwing punches against Washington in 10 days. The final from the Orange Bowl, 61 for the Hurricanes, 14 for McNeese State. We'll be back to wrap it up from the Orange Bowl.